What's up dudes? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, since I got drunk and cocky last weekend at that party, called out Brent to a drag race. Gotta work on the RX-7. So I'm having this issue with the electronics that when I watch my voltmeter, you know they're supposed to charge at like 13.8, 13.5. Uh, it does that on idle, but as soon as I start getting on the gas, it drops down to 12 and a half, sometimes 11.8. Also notice a very weird thing that I let the car warm up like you do for a rotary. Uh, when I go to take off, pushing the clutch, the engine does this weird stall and then rev thing. Voltmeter spikes up to 18 volts. I'm gonna assume it's the alternator. I bought a new alternator. Let's see what happens. New alternator for the RX-7. Should bolt right in, I hope. <laughs> so let's get on it, let's check it out. I'm gonna do the hood light. Woo woo! There's the old alternator. You can see it's oxidized, kinda ugly. And also while I'm in there, the idler pulley does this crazy weird squeaking bit. So maybe I'll change that while I'm at it. So far what I need for this job is gonna be a 12 mil wrench and a uh, 14 millimeter socket. The 12 is for the adjuster and, well, both bolts on the adjuster. <laughs> the 14 is the main bolt that goes through it. So I think it's doing it right. Let's try to get it out. Now, you're always supposed to disconnect your power when you do something like this. I've got a kill switch on the car, so it should be good. It should be all right. Just like this off a bit. 14, go from the bottom. Most guys probably take the intercooler piping off to do this, but not really down for that. Just want to get her done, you know what I mean? So what I love about these Japanese cars is that most of the time, when they were in Japan, they didn't see too much harsh weather. So, I mean, once you crack the bolt, it's all finger loosened, finger tight, it's all, it all comes off very nicely. Bonus, hard here. Main bolt, ratchet wrench to the rescue. So what this does, by loosening this one, drops the alternator down, and when it's low enough, should be able to pull this belt off. Taking apart stuff is always the easy part. Ta-da! Now that that's all nice and loose, I'm gonna pull off. I think there's just a plug in the positive wire that connects on here. So you got, you got that positive right there, and then there's a plug just underneath it. And I'm pretty sure that's all. Oh, I thought it was a 10. I guess it's a 12. That's the not cool thing about Japanese cars. Everything's always in like an awkward spot. You always have to take apart a bunch of other stuff just to get the little things. And it's all part of the game, I guess. If you don't like it, don't do it. Come to think of it, I might have to take this strut bar off just to pull that out there. Found that before. Okay, that's off. That's gonna be a pain in the butt, of course. All right, so it took a little bit of wedging and prying, but pretty sure I can pull it out. I hope I can. Okay. Yeah. You guys find that the motor looks way better without the alternator? Looks cooler. Looks more like a motor. I don't. I've never seen a nice looking alternator. To tell you the truth. If you have one, send me that link. Post it in the comments, something. I wanna see this. Anyway, check it out. This is the old one. Nice blue pulley on it. That's the new one. Not sure about putting the pulley on. I guess I probably should though, since it's all lined up for that. Right, right. All right, this is a five, uh, what the hell is this? 15, 16 socket. Put it on the electric impact. It fit a second ago. Zing, zing. That's the new one. Let's take this off the old one. Of course, gotta be all freaking seized. No, I don't want to scuff it up or break it. Shit, man. <laughs> Mama, Mama said, knock you out. Whoops. Are you serious right now? Great. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. If there's some special sort of bull they did to it, but it's making me aggressive. It, the pulley's not coming off. I'm gonna run the black one. Forget it. So, fingers crossed, we get this thing back in. Little to no issues. Come on, baby. I know you want to go party. Oh, yeah. Wow. That on the pulley. No, it's not. It's all over the damn place. Sort of how it goes. Let's put some bolts in. Okay, I'll start with this big awkward one. Oh, there's mechanic friends when you need them, huh? Guys with the small little hands. So next, I'll slide in this adjuster deal. Now how this works is this goes through here, this goes in here, and even all the way, it has got some crazy slack to it. Son of a... Shit already. 
So the alternator is the proper alternator for this car, but I do not know what that pulley is for. It's a proper, I guess, Mazda alternator, but it could have been used on multiple cars, so that pulley is definitely way too small. So now I gotta fight with the old one and try to get it off without destroying it. Without destroying it. Without destroying it. There's a right way, a wrong way, and then there's this way. I'm just too angry. Alright guys, now I've been fighting with this pulley on this alternator for long enough. This is the last ditch effort. I probably should have done this in the first place, but whatever. Up my pulley. That big break right there. <sighs> you can't win them all. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna talk to Jay. See if he's got a pulley around that I can maybe buy off of him or something real quick because that means I got four nights left to get this thing ready to go to the drag strip because my dumbass called out Brent in his Malibu thinking that maybe I'll have a chance. It's not looking good. I gotta figure something out. All right, so tonight's a write-off. It's a fail. This is how she's gonna sit for now. No alternator, just a bunch of dirt. Anyway, uh, I thought I was gonna get lucky for a minute. This is the pulley off the original one. See how much space is cut in the back? See this, how far that sticks out? The only other pulley I have around here is off the LS motors. That's not as deep, doesn't reach. When you try to tighten it, Seizes all that up. Makes it impossible to turn. The other pulley, like I just showed you, busted it with this. Good chances are because I tried to knock it out with a hammer first, and I'm pretty sure I mushroomed the whole head of the shaft that holds that pulley on. So that's done, that's done. My options for this evening are exhausted, and so am I. Originally the plan for tonight was to just do this alternator real quick and then work on the 240. That was the plan, but that's not gonna happen. So that takes my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four nights that I had to get this car ready for Friday night. Now I'm down to three. I sent out some messages, hoping to hear some news back soon. These guys are usually real quick and real good about it. I'll get back to you guys with a video tomorrow. I don't know if you'll see it like as your tomorrow, but I'll be recording tomorrow and we'll go from there. So peace out, stay happy, ciao.